Hey, what's going on YouTube? Chuckles again with another Diablo 3 video. So today I was playing around on the Monk. Um, it's actually my most popular video, the Fire Build Monk on the channel. So I know that I haven't played the Monk in like forever, so I was kind of just jerking around with him because in 2.1 they get rid of one with everything, which means my Monk is going to be excessively broken. So I was like, okay, well, i got to come up with a new build, and I have way too much fire gear to get rid of it, so let's do an updated fire build. So today, we're going to be talking about a very basic starter fire build, just for any old monk, and look at this. No one with everything. So let's go ahead and jump right into the skills that I chose. So Crippling Wave Mangle on my primary. I chose to keep that because it is a good, um, what's it called, um, spirit generator. And then it is a fire attack, and it deals decent damage, and it slows um, slows the enemy, like when you hit them every third strike or something like that. So, next, on the secondary, my right click, I use Lashing Tail Kick with Vulture Claw Kick. Again, it's a great spirit spender, and it is fire damage and hits pretty dang hard. On my one key, I'm using Epiphany Inner Fire, because if you can lower your cooldown, get a little bit of CDR, and use Epiphany over and over again, it's just amazing. It'll just shred through enemies, it'll teleport you to them, it makes all of your uh, attacks um, fire damage, it's just amazing. Next, I switched out Serenity here and went with Dashing Strike Quicksilver. Um, what it does is it allows you to basically movement speed purposes. It lets you dash around the, the rift and so on and so forth. I chose Quicksilver because it gives you three charges. Next, I went with a very awkward skill, uh, Mystic Ally. I've never used Mystic Ally, um, ever, but to be honest it actually works out pretty well. I went Mystic Ally with Fire Ally. When you activate it, your ally splits into ten allies that explode for a little bit of weapon damage, not very much, but the passive is what you want. The passive gives you 10% um, damage, just increased all the time, and then the ally also attacks for you and does 40% of your weapon damage, and then when it dies, it it's automatically reborn, which is awesome because you don't have to spend a lot of spirit, such as like if I was using... Um, so what is a sweeping wind? Um, I don't have to constantly keep putting it up, which means I get to keep my spirit and spend more on lashing tail kicks. So it kind of worked out. I went Mantra of Retribution, Retaliation. It is the fire skill. Um, when you activate it, it increase the, increases the amount of damage dealt to 303%, which is pretty significant. It hurts a lot. So I, I kind of like this. And then for the passive, uh, you and your allies within 60 yards deal 202% of your weapon damages fire to attackers when blocking, dodging, or getting hit. So it works out very well. So for the passives, the first one I chose was Beacon of Yatar. Reduces all cooldowns by 20%. Like I said with uh, other videos, 20% cooldown reduction with one passive is a win-win. It's hard to not take that. Exalted Soul, I feel, is a little bit of a, um, I don't know, you, you can change this out. It's not the greatest passive, but I use it because I like the uh, the maximum spirit. It allows me to throw off more lashing tail kicks. Unity, just because each ally affected by your mantras, I always play with three or four person parties, or if I'm rifting it forward or just doing rifts, it makes it to where the damage is increased by 5% for every ally affected up to a maximum of 20. So it, it works out very well when you play in groups. And then seize the initiative. I decided to throw this on. Your armor is increased by 30% of your dexterity. I threw it on because, like I said, one with everything was basically all of my toughness. And when we lose that in 2.1, my monk is going to be severely broken because all of my gear was cold resist gear. So for the gear, the only thing that I suggest is a cinder coat mage fist for any kind of fire build. Ring of Royal Grandeur, and then what I did was is I crafted a couple Canes pieces and a couple All Guilds pieces. I'm still rocking a yellow necklace just because I haven't found anything better. So gear doesn't really matter next to those. You will want a Royal Ring of Royal Grandeur though, and then I just crafted the other pieces. So for my Paragon points in core, I go 14% in movement speed to hit 25% cap, and then after that I go um, full full into dexterity. So that's that's pretty good there. Next, in offense, I capped out critical hit chance because it was kind of low after switching out some of my gear. And then after that, I threw the remaining points into attack speed because that's what I needed the most. I didn't need critical hit damage as much as I did attack speed. 
Defense, I go resist all because, like I said, we are losing one with everything. It's going to be changed, so I wanted to go ahead and try and stack as much all resist as I possibly could. And then I threw the rest into life because I don't have a whole lot of life. I only have 358,000 HP, but you could also go armor in, in that case if you wanted to. For utility, I put all 50 points into life on hit because I'll say it again, I can't say it enough. When we lose one with everything, a lot of our toughness is going to go away. So I want to be sure to survive and life on hit is the best choice here to survive. Next after that, I threw the remaining points into resource cost reduction just so my lashing tail kick uh, doesn't cost as much. So the whole point of the, the build is to activate your mantra, go into epiphany, and then just spam lashing tail kicks until you're out of spirit. Use crippling wave to regain said spirit, and then lashing tail kick again. Um, dashing around the rift with your dashing strike, and then using your mystic ally when appropriate. So that's going to be my starter fire build for 2.1. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy the build. And as always, I will play a little bit um, sped up gameplay in Torment 1. And I know I keep getting a lot of flack for playing in Torment 1 when everybody says, oh, well, Torment 1, builds don't really matter. Builds do matter in Torment 1. Um, you, you could go into Torment 1, and if you had nothing but buffs for your characters all the way across your bars, and then you had nothing to attack with, what are you going to do? That's, that's what I say to the naysayers. So, again, it's just meant to be a starter build for us monks who are losing one with everything and our monks are going to be broken. So I figured I'd do another fire build and that's, that's what I came up with. So, I hope you guys, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one, guys. I crave a good fight. to go back.